Another big honor for the big man, Frank the Tank Kaminsky of Wisconsin. Sports director Rob Vogel now has more on that story, Rob. Good evening and welcome inside Lucas Oil Stadium where the last time we were here, we saw the Badger football team getting flattened like a court by the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Big Ten Championship game while Gary Anderson was secretly packing his bags for Oregon State. We didn't, of course, know it at the time. Much happier reason to be here today as the Badgers join in the other three teams in Final Four practice and media day. And the day started out with a bang for Bucky. This morning, it came as no surprise, but was still a great thrill. Senior center Frank Kaminsky received the U.S. Basketball Writers Association Player of the Year Award that has a Wisconsin tie. The trophy named after Oscar Robertson, who won it three times in a row. Robertson, of course, won a world championship with the Milwaukee Bucks in the early 70s. All of Kaminsky's teammates were on hand. He even fielded a few questions from them. It was a great chance to celebrate what has been a long journey from unheralded recruit to now top of the college basketball world. It means a lot. Um, just, you know, it's been a long journey. Um, you know, it wasn't easy at times, but, you know, I just believed in the process and believed in myself and had a lot of people who also believed in me. My teammates really helped me by making me a better player every day in practice. I just got to be thankful to all the people who helped me. Of course, the other big story was a chance for both the Badgers and Wildcats to prepare on this floor for tomorrow's semifinal matchup. It'll be game two in what will be a very special and marquee-filled final four. Coming up at six, we'll hear from both the Badgers and Wildcats and have a few special guests as well. In Indianapolis at the final four, Rob Vogel, NBC 15 Sports. Hey, not only does Frank win the big award, the sun is coming out. This is just the perfect day. We just need two more wins to make this the perfect weekend. And coming up on NBC 15 News at 6, I'm going to explain to you why these numbers on this dry erase board are significant. Just to show you how far this Badger basketball program has come. But for now, live in Indianapolis, along with photojournalist Katie Ruzanellis, I'm John Stofflet, NBC 15 News. Back to you, Lee.